When most people think about practicing the piano, they usually see sort of a Hollywood montage style image, kind of like this. But the reality could not be further from the truth. By the time you hear that finished product, there have been many, many hours of slow, thoughtful practice, lots of repetition work, things that aren't particularly pleasant to listen to before you hear the finished product. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to just hit the record button and show you what an actual one hour good practice session looks like. I'm working on a piece right now called The Juba Dance by Nathaniel Dett for Black History Month. I've got about a week to go, hoping I can make it before the end. And again, I'm just gonna hit the record button, not do any editing, so you can, again, get a sense of what a practice session looks like. I don't expect everybody to watch the entire thing, but if even one person out there gets some inspiration from this video to level up your practice game, then it is totally worth it. I'll talk you through my practice process and then we'll get started. It's four pages long, this piece. I've learned the first two pages at a slow tempo. I'm thinking this, section, uh, this session I'm going to work mostly on the third page. Before I start, I usually like to set a goal so I have a sense of whether I'm actually progressing or not. So my goal for today will basically be to learn that third page at some speed with a steady tempo where I have most of the correct notes. But at the beginning, I like to just play the entire thing from top to bottom just to get a sense of any problem spots that are gonna come up. I've got my handy pencil. Always good to have a pencil handy when you practice so I can mark anything that I expect might be an issue later. And then when I do the actual work that I'm wanting to improve upon, I'm a huge advocate of small bits with many repetitions. But this does get a little tedious, and to maintain my focus, I like to use this little timer cube. It's a really cool little device. It has these different increments on it, and I can turn the cube so that whatever time I want the timer to be set for is at the top. So five, 10, 20. And when I'm working on one particular task, let's say on this third page, which will probably be pretty obvious as you hear my run through when it sounds like I'm sight reading and playing lots of wrong notes. When I'm practicing in small bits, I like to set a time limit, not only to keep myself focused, but to switch tasks in order to get the most out of my practice time. So when I'm doing, when I'm doing really focused, repetitive work on a small section, I might set that for five or 10 minutes. And then when the timer goes off, I switch tasks and then I'll come back to it. Okay. I think that's just about everything, so you have some sense of what I'm doing if you watch more of this video. And uh, let's get started. Time for a one hour practice session.
if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if there are any questions whatsoever in the comments below. Always happy to answer any questions about the process or anything that you saw. I felt pretty good about this practice session. That third page, I made a lot more progress than I thought I was going to make. I feel like I can almost play it up to tempo with most of the correct notes and rhythms and all that stuff. And on my final run through, I took some mental notes of places that I will certainly be focusing on in future practice sessions. Thank you so much once again. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for more videos like this, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.